wife apologizes to Nigerians. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified or post hot juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. The wife of the president, Mrs. Aisha Muhammad Buhari, has apologized to Nigerians for the country's insecurity over the last seven years, as well as harsh economy that has made life difficult for Nigerians. She gave the apology on Friday in Abuja at the 62nd Independence Day Special Jumat Prayer and Public Lecture with the theme Shura, the Islamic Foundation of a True Democracy, which was held at the National Mosque Conference Hall, Abuja. According to her, the noticeable depreciation of a Naira and the continuous drop in the foreign exchange rate have taken their toll on the economy which she blames for the hardship and difficulty Nigerians face in education, health and other day-to-day -day activities. She did, however, commend the military's effort in addressing the country's security challenges thus far and wish them continued success. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as you may be aware that this government is making its exit and perhaps witnessing the last anniversary of the regime. I pray for Nigerians to pray for a successful election and transition program. The regime might not have been the perfect one, but I want to seize this opportunity to seek forgiveness from the ul ulamas and Nigerians in general. We all need to work together to achieve a better Nigeria. Your Excellences, Distinguished Guests, it is also noticeable that a Naira is being evaluated and the foreign exchange rate has affected our economy, causing a lot of hardship and difficulties in terms of education, health and other day-to-day -day activities of our citizens. We must unite and fight against security challenges. While the efforts of the government are well appreciated, it is important to know that many programs have been put in place, have, put, have been put in place such as agriculture, entrepreneurship and engagement of youth and women to cushion the effect and provide alternatives. I myself, through my Aisha Buhari and Future Assured, have put in place deliberate efforts and, and programs focused on improving the quality of women, youth and children. Through this effect, I have empowered many communities. I appreciate all my partners and collaborators, the wives of the governors, the wives of service chiefs, my associates, well wishes, and international bodies, that is, development partners, I thank them all. I am particularly happy that our security agents have stood up to the challenges of security more than ever before. And at the moment, the efforts have been pushing the efforts of banditry, kidnapping, and many other ills in the society. I commend the efforts of our gallant security men and women, and I want to pray for more successes in the operation, she stated. Well, um, uh, it's Independence. It's Independence Day. Uh, happy Independence, hmm? Nigerians. We are using this particular this Independence Day is to tell ourselves. Thank. It is is to tell ourselves that we are try. We have tried sincerely. Not easy to their life for this country and sing, especially with everything going on, Nigerians. Hmm? We cannot clap for ourselves, sincerely. We are celebrating ourselves for being able to still stand on our feet despite all the challenges being thrown at us as Nigerians. Hmm? That is what we celebrate because a lot of people will tell you, eh, what are we doing? We are celebrating our ability to stand, most especially as a nation, despite experiencing all the hardship that we have experienced. You know the easy. There are countries that have experienced what they have experienced and they have gone into extinction, whether I like it or not. Okay, um, you are more sympathetic than your heartless husband. There's a lot to be told about Aisha Buhari on a very good day. A lot. Okay, apology to the woods after she made Dubai her permanent home. Like I said, because of this um, statement, there's a lot to be made. A whole lot. I mean, a lot to be discussed about her. Ask yourself, why did this woman flee? To, to Dubai, why did she make Dubai a permanent home? There is definitely a handwriting on the wall that we just can't see it. But maybe, just maybe, we're going to be seeing it more clearly. I mean, later. Alright. Too late, we have lost loved ones. Indeed, we have lost loved ones. So we should clap for her, B. I don't understand. Okay. 
Can this apology bring back the hundreds of thousands of lives lost, the essential homes destroyed, the destroyed structures, people's livelihood destroyed, and the economic woes Nigerians are forced to go through? See, that is why I specifically said that we are celebrating our ability to survive under this kind of administration, under this type of, you know, um, should I say economy. Not easy, to be sincere with you. It is not easy at all. It is not easy. All right. This is a motherly speech. I wish you the best. You have always been on the side of truth. Mm. This is only an address and it appears good. Patient Buloka Bele Jonathan begged, but it was not good at all. Hmm. What do you mean? Okay, I love her address to Nigerians to calm down for a better condition of life ahead. And to get there wasn't to get there wasn't by might nor power, but by joint efforts in unity and cooperation. Mostly to be security conscious and to be our brothers keepers to one another. I commend the excellency. Hmm. All right. Why didn't she say any doing boo-boos for staying? A few months left and she suddenly realized that things are worse. Look, her ability to even come out and see a lot of things. Somebody said that Gulok Ebele Jonathan's wife said, Gulok Ebele Jonathan's wife called on women, but because of her lack of ability to speak English language, a lot of people, they did not see it in her. Gulok Ebele's husband reacted to many things, as in, when I mean reacted, I mean she felt the things we felt. She didn't even cry for us. A lot of people see that woman as someone who is serious because she could not speak English. English will be seen to be your mother's tongue. Sincerely. All right. Mm. At the end of the day, as Nigerians, the best we can do is to, like I said before, today, give, tell somebody a kind word today. Today, I mean, remind somebody that they're strong. Remind somebody that they're bigger than what we are facing. Remind somebody, remind them. You do not know what everybody, yes, everybody is going through a lot, but sincerely, if you can make out time to pick out, pick out a word for one or two persons, then I tell you, you know, it is going to be well appreciated. Like I said, you're not celebrating the independence to me. I said you're celebrating the ability of Nigerians to still be standing after, you know, after what happened. To be sincere, that is the main thing. That is the main thing we are celebrating today. That is why we should, you know, we should take this advice. We should take this advice of uniting so that we can make Nigeria better for all of us. That is the best advice and if we take it sincerely, history will be made. Okay, on this note.